Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Som Chit. Today I'm going to cook mutton curry. I have 1 kilo of mutton, 5 pieces of potato cut into cube. For the potato, if you cut already, you need to soak in the water or else it will turn like a um, darker color. So I have 2 medium size of yellow onion cut into cube, a smaller cube. Some curry leaf, 3 green chili, 1 red chili, 1.5 tablespoon of chili powder. 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, 1 tablespoon of garam masala, 1 teaspoon of fennel seed powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, um, 1 and a half tablespoon of ginger paste, 1 and a half tablespoon of garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of sugar. And these are the spices. I have um, cinnamon stick, star anise, clove and cardamom. And I will be using one box of coconut. Put about three tablespoons of cooking oil. So I'm putting in all the spice and the curry leaf. Putting in all the onions. and the garlic and ginger paste we fry all the ingredients until it releases all the nice fragrance I'm going to put in all the curry powder so this is a chili powder coriander powder garam masala and all these three mixed powder oh. Smell really nice. You can put in all the powder. The it's a bit dry, so you can add in about half a cup of water. Just continue to fry until the all the mixture of the curry powder release the fragrance. And I'm going to put in the mutton. So this mutton, I'm not pre-marinate or anything, I just put them in. Just give it a nice stir and then I'm going to put in just a little bit more water. Just to wet the pan because the pan is quite dry. Alright. You mix it very nicely and then I'm going to reduce the heat to uh, low heat. I brought the temperature down to low heat and I'm going to cover the pan and let it simmer inside here. When the meat is cooked slowly so it should release the juice and then we would have um, more gravy. Let's set the time for about one hour. Okay, we set the time for one hour but we will come and check frequently just to make sure that it doesn't burn underneath if just need to keep stirring. And if it's too dry, it's okay to just add a little bit more water at time. See? Now the, the meat has released some juice and we have a bit of gravy. So, it's really nice. It smells so good. So we're going to continue to cook like this for about one hour until the meat is very soft because mutton of course is very tough so we need to take long time to cook oh look at that the bottom is almost dry so we need to dry up this much I'm going to add in water just one cup of water and we still need to continue to boil until the uh, meat is soft. Almost one hour. And that we have cooked the meat and the meat is still tough. So I'm going to add in some more water and we will continue to cook until the meat is soft. For mutton that is very tough, so probably you'll have to take a cook longer time. One hour passed, and I'm going to 
switch on the heat again and this time I'm going to cook in the medium heat for another 45 minutes and I will cook, put in the coconut half a box of the coconut and put in the green chili and the red chili put in all the salt and the sugar half a cup of water all right to continue to cook for another 45 minutes let me check on the meat so it's a bit soft So the meat is soft and now I'm going to put in the potato. When put in the potato, I'm putting in another half a cup of water because later on the potato will absorb too much, a lot of water and then the curry won't be too dry. So I am just adding the water and um, I'm going to add the another half of the coconut from the box. And I'm going to continue to boil for another 20 minutes until the potato is soft and then we are done. Alright, 4 more minutes. Curry is getting dry. Oh my goodness, it looks so yummy. Just want to check if the potato is soft. Okay. Potato is soft, so I I'm going to taste the curry and then just to see if it's okay. Mm. Slightly lack of salt. I'm going to put in another half teaspoon of salt and just give it a couple of stir. The potato is soft, the meat is, the meat is soft and the curry is okay, very delicious. So I'm done. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch off the, the heat and just let it cool down. And this type of curry is best to cook today and have it eat it tomorrow. The curry will be tastier. Total cooking time, it's about two hours. Mm. It is so delicious. The mutton is very tender and the curry flavor is superb. This goes very well together. And for this style of curry, if I cook today, if I eat it tomorrow, it will be better. This is really delicious. If you like to have curry mutton, it's worth trying this recipe. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more of my cooking video like this. Thank you and bye-bye. I'm going to enjoy my curry mutton for dinner today.